Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about what's called Pascal's Triangle, and we're going to use this to compute the binomial coefficients. So, I've got a few videos about doing binomial expansions, and here's the, uh, the binomial um, expansion for the quantity a plus b to the n, and, you know, I did a couple more complicated examples, and to evaluate these binomial coefficients, uh, we use the formula n choose k, n factorial over the quantity n minus k factorial times k factorial. And, you know, to compute these is moderately tedious, so I'm just going to point out how you can use this Pascal's triangle to kind of compute these numbers um, a little bit faster. Um, you'll still have to grind away on the a to the powers and the b to the powers, simplifying that, depending, you know, if a and b are more complicated. That'll still be a little tedious, but at least... Um, at least we're going to figure out a nice way to figure out these numbers out front. That's the idea. Okay, so you can check my arithmetic here. Um, I did a couple of expansions, a plus b to the fourth power. So if you take a plus b times a plus b times a plus b times a plus b four times, um, collect your like terms, you're going to get this value, uh, 1a to the 4th plus 4a cubed b to the 1st, 6a squared b squared, 4a to the 1st b cubed, plus uh, b to the 4th. And I've also done the same thing for a plus b to the 6th power. So I've got the coefficients highlighted in red here. So um, just to kind of uh, illustrate this, this Pascal's triangle. So here's going to be a good old Pascal's triangle. So the way that you start Pascal's triangle is you just make a number 1. And then what we do from that is we make 1's um, to the left of the first one and a 1 to the bottom right of the first one. And we do this again. But now what we're going to do is we add 1 and 1 and we get the number 2 in the middle. And then we just stick another 1 off to the side. And then we just keep this process up. So I'm going to put another 1 over here. If I add 1 and 2, I'm going to get 3. If I add 2 and 1, I'm going to get another 3. And then I'm going to drop down another 1. Okay, so let me do this again. Um, so if we add 1 and 3, we're going to get 4. If we add 3 and 3, we're going to get 6. If we add 3 and 1, we're going to get 4 again. And then we're going to get another, we just stick another 1 at the end. So let me erase my little... little arrows here just so they don't uh, so hopefully you, you see what's going on now I'm gonna stop drawing the arrows and hey look at those numbers 1 4 6 4 1 look at the coefficients 1 4 6 4 1 it's gonna turn out that every row is gonna give you the binomial coefficients so let's do two more um, so we would have to the fifth pat, excuse me, 1 and 4 would give us 5, 4 and 6 would give us a 10, 6 and 4 would give us another 10, 4 and 1 would be 5, and then we drop down our 1. Let's do maybe one more. So we'll stick a 1 off to the side. If we add 1 and 5, we get 6. If we add 5 and 10, we get 15. If we add 10 and 10, we get 20. If we add 10 and 5, we get 15. If we add 5 and 1, we get 6. And then we stick another 1 down there. And hey, look again at the coefficients. Um, on my a plus b to the 6th power, we had 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. And those are exactly the numbers in this row of Pascal's triangle. So. The idea is um, the first row is going to correspond to the exponent of 0. So imagine if you had a plus b to the 0 power. Well, you would just get 1 would be the coefficient. The second row is going to correspond to the exponent of n equals 1. And again, that makes sense. You know, if you had a plus b to the first power, if you had a plus b to the first power, I mean, what are you going to get? You're going to get 1a plus 1b. So that certainly is an agreement. And then you can just keep counting down. The third row is going to go with the exponent of 2, um, and then so on and so forth. So that's going to be our exponent of 3, our exponent of 4. This is going to be our exponent of 5. And the numbers at the bottom um, would go with the exponent of 6. Okay, so again, uh, so just kind of a neat little trick, I think, to get uh, 
to get uh, the binomial coefficients. You can just make this little Pascal's triangle, fill it in, find the appropriate row that you need, um, and you're in business. So um, obviously, you know, if n is a big power, you just plug it in a computer, you certainly wouldn't go through this. But, you know, in a, a typical class, they're not going to have you expand a plus b to the 800 power. You know, they're going to go a little ways out. So this is certainly a little time saver, much quicker, much easier than using all those factorials. So, all right, um, I hope this video helps. I hope it makes some sense. I hope it's slightly interesting to you. Um, I think it's kind of neat the way all this works out. So, um, as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them. Hopefully me or someone else can point you in the right direction.